There's been a metamorphosis that has sort of uh, gone through society. The young men and women that are coming to me for a job or coming to aim for a career are, are coming with a skill set that isn't as well developed as it was 20, 30, 40 years ago. Cars and mechanical things were far more imperfect uh, decades ago than they are today. Uh, let's face it, you can jump in a brand new car, drive it from coast to coast, probably put 100,000 miles on it, and with exception of an oil change, tires, and gas, you probably have no maintenance to do. So as a result of that, the, the basic hands-on skills of repairing imperfect mechanical things is sort of dying away because we are sort of surrounded by nearly perfect mechanical things. To take a car that was built in 1935 and make it perfect again in 2019, that requires an entire array of skills. You need to understand how the craftsmen and women of that day created that vehicle, and then you have to not only apply all those skills, you have to take what time has destroyed in, in 70 or 80 years and also apply that to that vehicle. But in the end, when you do that, when you take that discarded thing and turn it into a masterpiece, I, I can't even describe the feeling that sort of takes over in you. It's truly amazing. There is a severe satisfaction that people get out of creating things. That when you take something that's inherently broken or broken down, and you put it back together, and an airplane that can't fly suddenly is capable of safely flying. A rusted car is taken out of a field and put back on the road and is something to sort of marvel at and look at. There is a sense of pride that comes out of that that is hard to describe and it's irreplaceable. For those people seeking that, a career building airplanes, building cars, building things is really where they need to be. And, and there is there's simply no satisfaction if you don't have it.